Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be continuing our Visual C++ uh, SDL tutorial that we're working on and we'll just bring it up right here and this is our current code. Today we'll, we will be blitting images so first off what I'm going to go to do is go to my documents, Visual Studio 2010, projects, SDL tutorial, debug and first thing I want to do is create a new bitmap image. Where is that? There we go. And we're going to name it test. And we're gonna. I'm just gonna modify it. So we'll just edit it real quick. And image attributes. We'll do it 100 by 100. All right. And then we'll just give it a back red color. Give him a black smiley face. There we go. So test dot bitmap. So we have him loaded up. Now let's go into our code. So right now we have our screen set up. And we want to blit a new image to the screen. So what are we going to do? Well, first off, we're going to need another SDL surface. Because SDL surfaces are images. They're like they're what you load up. So SDL surface. And then we're just going to call it image. Sweet. So image equals. Now, right now we declared our SDL surface and it's blank. There's nothing there. It's got nothing going on with it. What, like, you know. SDL image is empty. We need to assign it something. So it'll be um, SDL load BMP, and then we're gonna need a file. So what what we're gonna do is type in right here is test .bmp, and then we load that up. That'll load it because when we run it in the debug, it'll load test .bmp right there. So now that we've loaded our bitmap, what are we gonna do? We need to draw it. So we're, what what we're gonna do is come down here to our, where our drawing occurs in our loop and do SDL split surface and then we're first off gonna have to put the the image we want to blit so that was image null I'll get to these in the later and then um, screen no now SDL blit surface is actually what draws the image to the screen so what what first our first parameter is our the image we're blitting the second parameter is going to be the clip of our image. I'll get to that in a second. The third parameter is what we're blending it to in this case the screen and then the third parameter for that will be like the offset or like the clip on the screen. But we'll get to that in a second. So now that we run this and actually no I just want to build it. So we're just gonna build the solution with F7. And that should work and we come over here to SDL tutorial and bam there's a bit map drawn to the screen and I'm gonna resize this to, I'm gonna resize our screen real quick over here in the code because I can't deal with that. So 600 by 480 is it? Six, 640 by 480. 640 by 480. So we're gonna have to come 640, right? Now we'll just um, debug build solution. I think this should work. It's one of those standard screen sizes. There it is. This is a good size for our SDL app. Now. I just so what happens if we don't want to blit the image here? We want to blit it say down here. Well, we're gonna need a new parameter, and that parameter will be an SDL rectangle. So we're gonna come up here and declare a new SDL rect, and let's comment this. Our event image variables, and then we're gonna need an SDL rect offset. Now. Say when we run our application, we'll come over here and run it again. We want to blend 50 by we want to blend 50 50 pixels off the screen right here. So how are we gonna do that? Well, offset. We're just gonna set some variables. Offset dot x equals 50. Offset dot y equals 50. And then we're gonna come down here and do screen and offset. Now when we run this, let's check this is it oh yeah it is recording okay good I was I was about to be sad if it wasn't recording we're gonna build our solution no errors come down here and look we've blended a chunk off the screen cool now what if we want to crop part of our image we're gonna declare a new SDL rectangle SDL rect and we'll call it crop now supposing we get to our project and Within our project, um, I'm sorry, I closed it on accident. So we bring them up. Say that on our image, we only want to blit this much of our image. We only want to blit a quarter of it, a 50 by 50 chunk. We want to blit this bottom corner. So for our clip, what are we going to do? Well, first for our clip, our crop, I mean, 
prop.x equals 50 and that will put us over over here halfway through because it's a 100 by 100 image and I'm going to do our crop.y equals 50 so we'll come back over here so I keep asking that puts us here now we need to de de define the width and the height so crop.width equals 50 crop.height equals 50 now we come down here and we blit and crop so we come up here I'll just hit F7 to make it fast run our tutorial and there we only blitted a chunk of our image now we can modify that in any way we can change the the X to say 25 and the width to say 75 and then we build solution F7 run this and look now we blitted uh, three quarters of it well not three quarters I don't know the exact math but um because I just kind of wung it but now say we want to blit then we go back up here to the offset say we want to blit it at um you know 100x and 250y and then we build our solution with F7 and then we come down here and sweet look he's all the way down there so with SDL it's really easy for us to blit images you know we only have two variables and we are cropping images setting their location on the screen and we're loading them we, we literally loaded it we declared it loaded it and drew it in three lines of code and then when we started modifying it it didn't take that many more these are all just you know setting variables to values it's just, it's easy SDL simple I love it so um, draw our test image I just want to keep this properly commented and uh, let's just build the solution one more time so as you can see SDL is really easy we drew an image today it's good to go and um, I'll see you guys next time